Hi folks, and welcome back to another of our midweek reviews. This week, we're gonna be taking a little look at a very small and inexpensive dash cam by a company called VFO. They've sent it to us, asking us to give it a test and make a video for you guys. Now, this couldn't have come at a better time because as you're all aware, or if you're not aware, you need to get back and look at some of our vlog videos. We're gonna be heading out into Europe in this thing in a few months once it's finished. And one of the things I really wanted to take with us was a dash cam because we're gonna be covering so many miles, so many countries uh, that if there ever is an incident, then we know we're covered. We're gonna have footage of what happened. It's good for insurance companies, it's good for the police, it makes things go a lot smoother. So without further ado, let's jump in the van and take a look, shall we? And here it is. You see how small it is? Really neat, really tidy, one single little uh, module. It's got a tiny screen on there and it's got this camera on the back, which is very easily adjustable up and down. And then up here, already stuck and fixed to the window, is the actual GPS module. Now you can plug the power cable, which is a USB-C, into that, and it will give power to this, or you are also able to plug in uh, a USB-C to the side of here. There's also the slot there for a micro SD card. So what we will do is then just pop this like this, and it's clipped on. We position the camera to where we want it. Right now it's pointing at the sky, which is no good to anyone. Down there at the road. Let's turn it on. As soon as it powers on, it automatically starts recording. So here I've clicked the record button to stop it. I can then press the selection button at the bottom and go into the video files and have a look around. Scroll about till I find the video file I'm looking for. And once I'm happy, I can just click on it with the selection button and it will play the file. Once we're happy with that, then we're able to hit the selection button to stop it. We can press backwards, back again, and it takes us back through all the menus to the main screen where we can have it recording again. Right, I've popped back into the driver's seat now. This is where I belong. Now, everything is well and good fiddling around with it up there. It's a little bit small. It's a little bit far away to reach. Now, of course, in this day and age, we can click on here and I can link to it via my phone. And you should very quickly see, there we go, straight to the live link of my beautiful, messy garage out there. And what I can also do is click on the menu button here, which should rather quickly, there we go, it takes us into the gallery where there's loads and loads of footage. It does take a second or two to load one up. So if I pick one that's not too big and then we can make it full size, it takes a second to load. And you can hear it's recorded the sound and it's incredibly good quality. We can also jump into a settings menu here where we can access everything. So we can control that entire unit from here, which is fantastic. We can change all the things like the loop recording. How long does it record for? At the moment it's on five minute recording sessions, then it jumps to the next clip. We can change the uh, video resolution. It is on the highest setting at the moment. We can also decide whether it has the date stamp on there. There's also the parking mode, which I do have switched on. You have the option in the parking mode of whether it records just a very slow time lapse, one frame every few seconds, but that's gonna slowly be nibbling away at the van battery, not too bad. Or what I've got it on is like a motion detection. So if it detects someone fidgeting around at the front of the van there or my cat, it will record that for a minute or so and then shut itself down again. This is just good security stuff. I like to have that there. It's not draining too much power from the battery. Now, speaking of the battery, they also sent me a hard wire kit. Obviously, like any dash cam or anything like this, it comes with a cable, a USB-C, which plugs into a cigarette lighter. Or, if you can be bothered, it took me a bit of time to do it, I've wired this up through the headline and down the pillar and down to my main fuse board where it's wired in so that as soon as I turn my ignition, it just turns on. And then when I shut, when I shut the van down, it stops. And this is all I really want from a dash cam. I know it does lots of fancy little things, but for me, all I care about is having it there. I just want to turn the van on and start driving. And as soon as I start driving, I want to know that that thing's recording everything. When I turn it off, I want to know that it's turned off and it's not draining my battery. Of course, every now and then it'll wake up to record anything if it sees any motion. So yeah, I can't fault it at all. I think it's fantastic. Having it hardwired in is the, the key thing for me. It's brilliant. I've got no wires anywhere. That will just live up there now and I can forget about it. If there's ever an incident, I have got evidence right there always. So of course, if anyone's interested in this, drop down into the description. It's where you're going to find the link and a discount code as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this little review and we'll see you on Saturday for the weekly vlog and then maybe another review next week.